So the main thing I wanted to do today was uh, further testing with the flight test simple stalk I built. Now um, I made them this and checked it out yesterday. Um, and uh, I was generally quite happy with it, but I felt uh, I wanted to make a couple of modifications. I felt that the um, the elevator throw was a little high and the pitch response was more than necessary, and I felt that I wasn't getting the roll response that I would like to see. So, high rate. that's high rate. So I lowered the elevator rates a little bit. Um, I think maybe they could do with lowering even further, but uh, Low rate. Um, I had them at uh, I had them set pretty much where the flight test gauge said to set them, which was about seventy and a hundred percent before I've moved them down to sixty low rate and eighty high rate now. More to the point, I've made some changes to the flaps. See, we've got ailerons and we got flaps. Well. That's confusing the issue. There's your flaps, you see, the two inner surfaces, and then you've got your ailerons on the outer surface. Now, the problem I was finding yesterday, as I say, was I didn't get the roll response I would like, and it seemed a waste that when you put the flaps up, um, you've basically got... Take off flaps. Flaps up. That's interesting. That one goes up faster than the other one. That's a little worrying. Uh, that may cause some pitch, because I've done some fairly complicated mix programming here. It seemed a waste to me that when the flaps were up, um, only the outer surface was serving as the air ones, and the flaps were basically doing nothing. So now I've mixed them in, so when the flaps are up, if you can see the flat, the, in, the flap surfaces now move with the ailerons to give you effectively a bigger aileron. And in order to do that, I had to do a couple of things. I had to make a couple of physical modifications. Um, I changed the two flap servos. They were previously on a Y connector on the one channel on channel five. I split them so they're now connected by servo extensions, one to channel 5 and channel 6, so they're separate. And I changed the adjustment to the control rods, so previously the neutral flap position with the flap lined up with the wing basically was set um, where, with the servo at its extreme minus position, so you could just put them as far down as you wanted. I've now changed it approximately, that one looks as if it could do with a teeny bit of adjustment maybe, but anyway so that the, um, the flap up position, the neutral position, is where the servo is in its neutral position, its zero position in the middle. Basically so that the servo can now move the flap both up and down, because previously the servo would, could really only move the flap down, because it was when the flap was up, that was at one extreme end of the servo. So I made those, split the two flap servos onto two separate channels, five and six, and made it so that when, the, when those channels are at their zero position, the flap is in its up position. Then, I made a number of changes to the programming. Of course, I put, uh, I enabled channel 6, so I've got channel 5 called flap and channel 6 called aux 2. Oh, oh, I doubt this will come out too well on this camera, so I'll overlay pictures if it doesn't. Uh, then I set up the flap system on switch D, with position 0 being flaps up at 0, position 1 at 50% and position 2 at 95% with 4% down elevator mixed in with a half flap and 8% down elevator f uh, mixed in with the, the full flap. And that's on switch D, the three position switch there, uh, with a delay of three seconds. Um, and though it says 95%, I think I've actually got the, the travel... Yeah, see, I've actually got the travel restricted one way to 73%, so they actually don't go down more than 73%, in fact. Um, then I created three mixes, three custom mixes. The first mix is active when switch D is in positions one or two, in other words, when the flaps are down. Landing flaps. Flaps up. And what that does, it mixes flap to aux 2 at 100%. 
So all that does is it means that when one flap goes down, the other flap goes down because only one of these flaps is actually on the flap channel. So if you just had the flap system control in the flap channel, only one flap would go down. So the flap channel is mixed to the AUX2 channel. I'm picking the wrong switch. So, so that both flaps go at 100%. The one thing I notice that doesn't really work properly, I notice is they both go down at the slow rate, but for some reason, oh, you know what? That's probably because of that. Maybe if I, wait a minute. Sorry. I'm thinking maybe if I don't disable that, I'm, uh, what if I put that mix on? Well, what, what if I leave that mix Take off on? Flaps. Landing flaps. Take off flaps. Flaps up. Yeah, see that works better if I don't inhibit that mix, I beg your pardon. It, mo it works better if I just leave that mix on all the time, and I don't think it's going to cause any problems to leave that mix on a time, all the time. So AUX2 is mixed in with the flap channel at 100%. So it follows the flap channel. At, so the flap channel controls one flap, then this mix mixes the other flap into that at 100%, so it's controlled like that. Now the next mix we have is an aileron to flap mix. Now this is important. This is an aileron to flap mix. This mixes the aileron channel to the flap at minus 100%. Also contingent on switch D. Well, I've changed this contingent to the other one, but this one definitely needs to be contingent on switch D. It's only active when switch D is in the zero position. In other words, only when the switch is up, when the flaps are up. So when the flaps are up, when the flaps are up, actually this one's controlled by the flap channel. So when the flaps are up, when the flaps are up, that, that moves together with the flap. But as soon as you put flaps down, that doesn't move anymore. That just stays down. It just stays in its flap position because this mix is disabled. This mix is disabled when switch D is in position one or two to put the flaps down. But as soon as you put the flaps up, that's enabled. And uh, the other mix mixes aileron to aux 2 at 70%. So, so one flap is mixed to the ailerons positively at 70%. The other flap is mixed to the ailerons negatively at 70%. And both of those mixes are only enabled when the flaps are up. So when the flaps are up, those inner surfaces become aileron extensions. As soon as you put the flaps down, you've got flaps down and you've just got your outer ailerons. I'm hoping this will, you know, still give me... Uh, the flap control I had before, but, all, but also uh, get when I've got my flaps up, give me... Uh, I'm just trying to get this back to the main screen here. There we go. Um, when my flaps are up, give me extra aileron control. Okay, I think I'm just going to pause the video for a bit now because I think I want to put the, I do want to put the camera on the plane. I'm going to fly the plane now, but I want to put the camera, uh, camera on it.